Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy PokeSolve, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be me showing you a couple ways on how to play level your cards. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, so on the topic of play level cards, I got asked this in my stream yesterday. Do I have to play 100 games on each card? To, before I combine it to make it a perfect pro. No, in the sense, a perfect pro is when you level both cards up to a level 100, or to their max level, and then combine them. That's a perfect pro. I like to call it an ultimate pro, and that's when, um, what do we call it? And that's when you play both sets of 100 games on each card. So you, you guys can see on Nia Jax, she's needing 100 matches until she's play leveled, in a sense. So obviously she's going to be a pro for me, so I've got to do it on both cards. Now there's a, a, a lot of ways we could do this. We could we could stick her in our wild deck like this and play a level her that way by just going into a game of wild and playing it and then hoping a female match comes up and then if it does, we, we chuck her out and she gets a game played. So here we go. We've got a female match. Obviously it's a, it was a single match. Unfortunately it wasn't uh, a, 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 like a tag, but it is what it is. And then you've got another male. So basically, that was one match or one way you can play a level. So yeah, another way with you being able to play a level card without, having, without you having to do anything is just putting print a card in the performance center. So if we just uh, filter by Royal Rumble 21, we'll see that our Nia Jax will pop up. So probably be quite far down. For example, you put her in there and then you hit start. So obviously these contribute to the games so you play with her as well. So it'll take the game itself, if you don't touch it, four days to complete the games for you in the performance center. Which is like leveling up. Then there's my favorite way to level up cards, and that's in PvP. There's this awesome mode called Roar Rumble. You have it for the men's and for the women's, which is very sick. Obviously, I'm gonna have to dumb down my deck, so I'll get back to you guys when I've done that. So then, this is my favorite way to play level card by dumbing down your whole Roar Rumble deck to like Gothic and Neons, except for the card you want to play level. I, in our in our instance right now, it's gonna be Nia Jax. We're gonna go into a Rumble game. Show you guys why this is my favorite mode to play level a card. Right then, guys. So this is the reason why this is my favorite uh, way to play level a card is because every stat that gets called, that gets played, is basically counting as a game. So right now, so Bailey still had a game played in power, even though she's lost it, it still counts as a game, which is very very sick, which makes play leveling. So much quicker when you play level in a card. Okay, granted, it could take a couple games because, like, obviously, like for me, my Nia Jax that I wanted to play level hasn't even shown up in the ring yet, let alone on the outside of it, just trying to boast, you know what I mean? But it's just that this way will be the quickest way for you guys to play level cards. If let it be males, let it be females, use Royal Rumble. If, and if you guys want to want to play level card quick, let's say in five, six, seven, eight, nine games, done. I'll, I'll show you guys, like literally, there's Nia Jax coming in now, so we'll get rid of this Alexa Bliss in the ring. I will be using my super moves to let her in so she gets the stat boost for the first match. So, super move activated, Nia Jax enters the ring, bang, there we go. So now, if we're lucky, because the opponent's going to have one good card as well, um, if we're lucky, she should go, should be able to go all the way, and she does. So obviously that's Charisma now, heart badly. So I'm going to try not to use any matches in Charisma. Right then, she'll probably lose this last match. But in the sense of it, you guys have seen all these matches that we've just played. And I'll show you guys what that means for the card. So I think that was about seven or eight matches. I'm not sure. I didn't completely count. But we'll collect the picks and I'll show you guys what I meant. Right then, if we now have a look at Nia Jax. So she's gone from having one game played in Wild to having nine games played in total now with one game of Royal Rumble. It's so, so quick. There's, there's times where the card will just literally get spawned in the first three and then just go ahead and try and get a, get the card through till the end because that's 15 matches. It's insane. That's why that's my favorite way to play a level of card. I mean, there's a, there's like a lot, of, a lot of other ways you guys could do it, um, like using team events to do it or like Team Motor Glory, for example, or just like other ways. There are other ways to go about it. But like I said, for me, this is the best way you guys are going to play level your cards quick, easy, and fast. And with that said, as we do Pokemon 12, that said, you haven't catch me on Twitch yet. Link to the Twitch will be in the description down, down below. Without further ado, I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.